This is my full boat folding kayak, which I have converted to solar power. Uh, I thought someone might be interested in this. Uh, the kayak itself is a, uh, about 25 years old. It's held up really well. Uh, it's a two-person kayak. Um, and so to convert it to solar, I used, uh, I made it as simple as possible. Um, the, um, basically there's three parts to it. One is a solar One is a solar panel, which is a, uh, this is a 120 watt solar panel. I used a flexible solar panel since it's lighter weight. They don't have a reputation for long durability, but in two years this, is, this panel is uh, held up just fine. The panel itself is rated at, um, six amps out, uh, which uh, which at, at 18 volts uh, works out to 120 watts. Uh, I find I get, um, uh, when it goes down to 12 volts, I get between six and eight amps out of it. So uh, it's, uh, it's been working well. And it fits right between the uh, it happens to be the right size to fit between the bow uh, and the and the cockpit. Uh, I just use a bungee cord at the front, um, and I uh, tie it on. It's not tied on now, but I tie it on with um, with a piece of cord through the straps in the back. Uh, the second piece uh, is, of course, the trolling motor. Um, I bought the smallest, lightest. Uh, trolling motor I could find, um, and which is this water snake, uh, to 18 pounds of thrust, um, and uh, I built a mount for it on the on the rear uh, using a piece of wood with some bolts that went that go through the uh, uh, the, the rear aluminum fittings on the cockpit combing. Uh, I also put in a uh, a, a wooden um, a vertical piece here um, to uh, to support the against the twisting motions of the uh, of the motor. Um, this arrangement, my wife pointed out to me, is uh, somewhat sketchy, um, and I'll probably uh, now that I know that it works, I'll probably upgrade it to uh, uh, some aluminum angle or box. Uh, sections to make it a little sturdier um, and look a little less um, Rube Goldberg. Um, the, the final piece is uh, is uh, not necessary, not really necessary, but I added it. it um, I added a battery to it, and I, I this is the battery. It's a lithium iron phosphate. Um, and I really like this battery. It's a small battery, has small capacity, 150 watt hours, which is enough to run the bat the motor itself for a little over an hour. But I use it as a buffer, uh, so that uh, if uh, the sun goes behind a cloud or something, I can uh, it'll it'll keep the output up. Um, and also, uh, when it's when we're going at a lower speed, it um, it charges up the battery. Uh, this battery I like particularly because it has a uh, built-in battery management system, which is um, prevents overcharging and also uh, over discharge, as well as keeping the uh, the cells balanced. So, uh, so it, it's a re it's a real nice addition to the system. Um, and that's really basically it. I wire everything together with um, these um, XT60 connectors, uh, which are not waterproof, but uh, I think are fine for this application. Uh, they can handle 60 amps. Um, on the motor, I put a 
an extension on the handle, which is just a piece of uh, uh, one inch uh, conduit. Um, the motor itself has two speeds, low speed and high speed, as well as forward and reverse. Low speed uh, draws about six to seven amps. The high speed draws about 12 amps. And uh, since, the, since the solar panel generates six to eight amps, I can run on low speed all day long. Um, and uh, high speed when I, uh, when I need to. The, high, the low speed with this particular boat uh, drives it at about 2.7 miles an hour. Uh, so uh, that's, a, that's a nice cruising speed.